Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel and this tutorial of mine is in continuation with my previous tutorial on primary DNS server configuration on a Red Hat Linux 6 server. There are a couple of things that I personally believe need to be addressed post DNS configuration when it comes to configuring the DNS clients and, and, and each one of us know that edcresult.conf is the file where you put the entries for your uh, domain name and your name servers from where the IP to host and the host to IP lookup needs to take place. Now, the contents of EDC result that con if are, you expect them to be permanent indeed, right? So whatever you have populated there, it should stay here. But sometimes it is impacted and, and affected by the network manager configurations that are at times enabled in the Red Hat Linux X server and might be impacted by if any of your interfaces is using a DHCP client. So let's see how we go about making the contents of edcresult.conf and what are the what are the most likely reasons why why this file doesn't stay static and persistent across reboot. So let's see that. So I have with me my edcresult.conf here where I've populated the required uh, domain name, the name server, things and stuff. And uh, Running an if config hyphen a it demonstrates me that I got two network interfaces here and let me just tell you that ETH0 interface that's using the DHCP server to procure IP from my DHCP server that's hosted here and ETH1 is a static interface so let's see how things are uh, impacted uh, with the DHCP procurement and the network manager indeed as well so uh, now, let me just restart the services for the network. So, say IC service network restart and let's trigger it out. Let's see how well it goes. So, I have restarted my network service and let me just cut the contents of edcresult.conf. And you see that the contents of edcresult.conf have changed indeed. Now, this is not something that you want to happen when you are using a, a, uh, say a DNS server and you want the contents of the edcresult.conf to stay static. So the first thing that you need to do is to check the status of the network manager service that's there in, the, in your server. So we do a service network manager status and this service is running so this needs to be stopped now what network manager does is that any of the configuration files that are there in edc sysconfig network hyphen scripts and if you have specified any of the ip addresses or the dns addresses there in the in those configuration files network manager automatically read those configurations and populate the edc result.conf contents as well so we need to stop this service network manager and let's do a stop and check config hyphen hyphen list network manager let's do that and and let's just make this change persistent check config network manager off and Let's just trigger this. It's 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 uh, now off in an off state across all run levels. So that's the first thing that needs to be done. Now um, let's restart the network services again. So it's service network restart, and let's see what momentarily happens. So uh, it, it's gonna, it's going to take a little while, and it's done. Beautiful. Let me just cap the contents of edcresolve.conf now. Now, just see the difference. I'll just scroll it up for you. When I restarted the network services for the first time, it says cat edcresolve.conf and here you read this file has been generated by network manager. Now we have disabled the network manager, but still if we restart the, the network services again, it says that it's been generated by the DHCP client script now. Now, let's traverse to EDC sysconfig and uh, put a DH, uh, sorry, it's sysconfig and network hyphen scripts. And let's do an ls hyphen L here. 
So for fcfg hyphen eth0 is the configuration file for the eth0 interface. fcfg hyphen eth1 is the configuration file for the eth1 interface. So let me just cap the contents of this file. And if you see here, the boot protocol is specified to be DHCP. That means this will this will pick up the entry from DHCP. Now also this nm underscore con underscore control is there for the network manager, although the entry has been commented out. But in case it's not been hashed out and you intend to disable it, then you need to specify nm underscore control equal to no. Now um, we want that this interface ETH0 should pick up the IP address from the DHCP server, but not the contents of ED0Result.conf. So for that purpose, we will disable that by setting up peer DNS value equal to no. Public you not. And um, let me do cd edc and ls hyphen l resolve star and this is the file where i have copied the entries that are correctly that that are supposed to be there in a correct manner so let me just copy the contents to edc result.conf for this file result.conf and result.conf let's put a yes and cap the contents of result.conf and it's good. Now, since we have disabled the peer DNS value equal to no for the DHCP interface that we are running here, now let me restart the network services. And let's see what happens momentarily. Now, that's beautiful. Let's cap the contents of edcresult.conf and the contents have not changed. So this is how you go about making the contents of edcresult.conf permanent. Uh, the first thing is to disable the network manager and the second thing that comes into picture is, is disabling the DHCP enabled interfaces to take DNS value by putting up that peer DNS value equivalent to no. You do want to take it the actual IP, but not the DNS. And, and, and if you remember in both the cases, in the initial case, the first thing that was the, the DNS file was the ETC result.conf was populated by network manager. In the second case, it was populated by the DHCP client. So now we have disabled both and this configuration is going to stay persistent across reboots. I hope this has been informative for you and thank you so much for viewing. Kindly subscribe to my channel for more technical updates on Adapt Linux and other uh, technical topics. Thank you so much for watching.